All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn HTML by building a cat photo app. Step 56. All right. So there's another way to associate an input element's text with the element itself. We can nest the text within a label element and add a, a for attribute with the same value as the input element's ID attribute. So we're gonna associate the text loving with the checkbox by nesting only the text loving in a label element and giving it an appropriate for attribute. All right. So just like uh, before, this is unclickable until we uh, have it inside of a label, right? Uh, but instead of doing it this way where we wrap the whole thing in the label, what we're gonna do is something different. And we've talked about this a couple times uh, while looking through the input W3 schools. So I think we don't have to go back and check it out again. Uh, we'll come over here and we're gonna start with having a label in front of this loving. And then we're gonna go to the end and we're going to have a uh, close label after it. What, what, what? Close label after it, all right? And so inside of this, we're gonna do the thing that it says up here. We're gonna put a four in there and we're gonna have it target this ID name right here. So we'll just take this loving so that we so that we know it's spelled right and put it in there. And now we can see when we click loving, it's uh, checkable, right? Or uh, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, so let's check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 57 and we'll see you next time.